So here we are. This is the gym that I, it's a small one, but it's uh, good enough. And um, today we're gonna do some workouts. I started the day with a fresh banana strawberry smoothie. It's great like this, but you can also replace the water with almond milk or put some oats in it. Ready? Yes, we're going to do the first exercise. We're going to hold the elastic band with both hands. We're going to try to stretch the elastic band a little bit. If you feel the stretch, the elastic band is going 13 times forward and backward. But feel the stretch. We try to try to activate the muscles in the shoulders. Don't do it too fast and feel the stretch. Yes, perfect. Fifteen times. With dumbbells you can do all different kind of workouts, so if you have some at home it's perfect, I don't, so I just do it at the gym, but um, it's great. Also the elastic bands, and sometimes I use machines, but then I really do need someone to help me. So um, I prefer exercises that I can do alone, so I'm not dependent on anyone. But it's also fun to do it sometimes with a buddy, with a partner, so... Usually I spend one hour at the gym. I first do my physiotherapy, then I stand with my leg braces and then I work out for 30-40 minutes. So um, maybe one hour to one and a half hour, twice a week. Time for the kettlebell. Are you up for the challenge? Of course I am. Okay, let's go. 15 times. Okay. Can you handle it? Of course you can. Okay. Let's go. Close to your body. Give me 15. One. Two. Nice. Three. You can see the shoulder. I hope the core is always working very hard. She's not smiling a lot. Then I see she's working hard. Six. Since I cannot train my legs, I only train my upper body, uh, biceps, triceps, neck, back, uh, stability and somehow a little bit of core. So um, I like to use weights. I like to do exercises that I can do alone and sometimes just try new things to have a little fun. You know, it's very important to keep adapting and to find creative ways. You have to think outside of the box to find your way to, you know, do some exercises at the gym since most, almost everything is uh, created for able people so you have to find your own way and um, yeah that's what we do we adapt nice we're going to do this 15 times nice. and here you see guys we're training here the lateral jersey 
um, it's a very big muscle at the back, but the shoulders are working also. And also the trapezius is here, I got the biggest muscle, the biggest and the baddest muscle. And we're going to train that. Lightweight! Lightweight! <laughs> nice. As a wheelchair user and since my spinal cord injury is complete and I don't have a lot of balance, I do really look for the exercises that fit my body and yeah, that's the only way for me to do it. Okay, so now I'm standing again and I really love this feeling. I'm so happy that I have these braces and right now at the physiotherapy I can stand just for maybe 10 to 15, sometimes 20 minutes, but I try to do it every week. Uh, it's good for my mental health, it's good for my posture, for my legs, for my bones and muscles and everything. So um, this is one of my highlights every week. I'm really tired after workouts, so normally I eat and just don't do a lot that day anymore, since I do try to work out in the afternoons. Do I do cardio? Well, I, d I roll, if I go to the gym, I roll there, like, I walk there. So for me, that's my warming up and my cooling down <clears throat> and my cardio. So that's how I found, I think for me that works. Unless it's pouring rain, but... I guess everybody has their own exercises that they like to do and also fit their ability. So um, do what's good for you and uh, keep moving. Okay, it's time to go home. We have to make dinner. So um, it was a good workout. I do have to say with the Corona times, I did less workout than normally like i need more exercises but um, overall i do it important to uh, do it at least once a week so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos <laughs>